What's up, people? It's Freeman from Delta Squad, and there is no Delta Miner or we play blank too much this week. But I do got a little something special for you. I'm gonna show you everything in the Mass Effect 3 demo. Yeah, the demo got released uh, last week if you haven't already been playing it, which I suspect everyone is because it's free, it's downloadable, and nobody really wouldn't play it. I mean, this is like incredibly fun and everything. Alright, so when you start out, these are the six characters you had to choose from. Adept, Soldier, Engineer, Sentinel, Infiltrator, and Vanguard. Each which has four characters that you can choose from, like different races, like the Krogan here, or Corian, or Aturian, or any of that stuff. But they all have different powers. Um, some are biotic, some aren't. And this is what weapons you got there. Shotguns, snipers, assault rifles, heavy pistols, and over here we got some machine guns. Um, you can go into the equipment and put on new stuff from these veteran packs, or you might even unlock a new character or something like that. Which is how I got all those people. Um, characters are normally in the recruit packs, and special weapons tend to be in veteran packs mostly. All right, so I'm just gonna be my best thing, which is the adept, which I have pretty much everything maxed out for. I just need to level up one more time. My max level was 89, or yeah, it was 89. Okay, I'm I'm a different level now because I had to think about it. I think I'm like 96 now. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, I still haven't gotten him to level 20 at this moment we speak. Which will probably be never for this, so. The Adept has Warp, or if you're the human male, it has Warp, Singularity, and Shockwave. Singularity makes them, like, float up in the sky and stuff. And if you upgrade that all the way, it'll explode and detonate and then they'll all go flying. Uh, warp is just basically a shield drainer that you shoot at them or something. I don't know how to explain it. And Shockwave basically just pushes them out of the way or knocks something out of their hands or some, mostly stuff like that if it comes to Guardians. So the main enemies you're going to be fighting here are Assault Troopers. Um, the enemies are Cerberus. I'm going to guess that has something to do in the real game. But believe it or not, I haven't actually played any of the Mass Effects. I have no idea what the storyline is. I tried playing the single player demo, I had no idea what I was doing, so... Um, there's two different melees here. There's this, and then there's power melee. Which is different for each character, but some have... Like, insta-kill if you level it up all the way, like if you're a Krogan or something. Um... What was I saying about the game? Yeah, I haven't actually played any of it. I don't know any of the storyline whatsoever. I couldn't tell you, because I don't really even feel like playing the first two is the thing. So there, there's that guy just flying up in the sky there. I uh, demonstrated Singularity more. It's pretty much all you can do as an adept is make them fly and shoot at them, and make them fly and shoot at them. Um, these new people that you're seeing, uh, Centaurians, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're kind of like assault troopers, but with shields, and s they throw smoke grenades, I believe. I don't know if regular assault troopers throw them exactly. I know regular assault troopers throw frags, and so do Centaurians, but I think Centaurians are the only ones that have smoke grenades, as far as I'm concerned, so... Once you get to wave three, you'll start doing these, you know, special kind of missions, and there's three different types of them. There's this one, which you ha what you have to do is go to these four, like, terminal things and power them up for whatever the reason is, like if it's some kind of weapon defense or something like that. It, it makes it feel like it's a storyline mission, sort of, maybe, a little, I don't know. I'm gonna guess you can also do this kind of stuff in story mode too. So we already got half of them down. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, if you haven't noticed, there's still no audio. I'm not even gonna lie, the, once it got to this part of me, um, 
playing here, I did not even have audio. It just completely cut it off. I guess that has something to do with the connection from the computer to the TV. So I didn't take it out because I wanted to take it out. It literally didn't record any audio. So I'm just mashing away all these salt troopers. Can't think of anything else I was gonna say. Um, 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 um. Oh, I have a like bi bionic people. They have barriers, which are the purple shields, and normal people just have blue shields. Okay, so I guess I should explain explain when you're down. When you're down, you're dying, no matter what. And if you keep pressing down A or like mashing it like button mashing pro then it extends your life and chance for somebody to revive you like they just did um i prefer you wait for your team to revive you or actually you know talk to people and be in a party and stuff it, it works better than wasting your meta gel which are those things over on the left near your d-pad there's terminal clips or no thermal clips which i never use they're like extra ammo if you run out, but there's ammo crates all around the map, so you can just get ammo no matter what, as long as you stick near these crates, which is what most people do. That was a uh, grab melee, which I was going to get to with the melee thing. Um, if you're behind cover and there's a fist icon, like instead of vaulting, you just basically press B and you throw them over and you instantly kill them. But you can only use it on stuff like assault troopers or people that are actually human. And you can also use it on the uh, nemesis, I believe. That's about it. So let's look at the scores. Yeah, that's, that's where I belong on the top. Um, what wave is, it? wave is it? Like three, maybe? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I never pay attention in the actual game either. So that was a bionic explosion. I haven't confirmed how you do that exactly yet but i've normally just throw down singularity and use shockwave and it kills them with an explosion but i'm fairly certain that the singularity or no um any biotic like device or power that you've used if you mix another one with it it'll make a bionic explosion that's what i've come up with as far as anything will go here. So, um, haven't really introduced this enemy. This is a nemesis, which is the biggest pain in the ass to kill. Because if you do not kill them fast when you see them, they will just run around in circles until you finally mow them down. And the second enemy here is a guardian, which are basically... Centaurians with shields, and I don't think you can uh, do the grab melee on them. I'm fairly certain you can't unless you, like, take away their shield with pole or something. I wouldn't know. So I don't use pole or any... Singularity used to work on them. I can't seem to get it now, but the Guardians are the probably a bigger pain to me than the Nemesis because... I, I normally don't have anything to kill them with. If you have, like, armor-piercing bullet upgrades, then you can shoot through their shields, and they're nothing. They're just, like, a regular enemy, but... <sighs> Another combo grab thing, I'm a Rob. I just had to put that in there. It was totally worth it. And just... Ch Look, this is what I mean. You gotta, like, chase the nemesis around. I'm hitting him, but I keep missing him, and since I had this, uh... I mean, the SMG is not bad. It's got tons of ammo, but still, when you're aiming with it, trying to shoot upwards, it doesn't really work. So here's the uh, second kind of little side quest mission thing. Um, what you gotta do, if I ever get over there, is you gotta go to the terminal and activate it, and what you gotta do is stay within the radius and have the... Like, wait for the download or upload, either or. Normally it's download, because you're downloading data for whatever. And that would be my only way to kill Guardians, is with the Shockwave, because it puts their shield away for a good two minutes. No, not two. Wow. Two minutes. That would be something, wouldn't it? No, a good two seconds. A good two seconds about it. 
So you just sit around this circle that you're in, this blue highlighted circle, and your Omni tool will upload or download the device of what your objective is to do. I don't know. I don't. It's Centaurian or Solarian uh, ideas or something. Solarian tips or some kind of idea where the last ship went down. Something like that. I don't know. That's normally what they are. They change every time, which is pretty unique, I think, because they make it feel like it's an actual, you know, like, story fighting super imaginary thing. So that's really cool. Um, I really hope I don't get cut off here. I probably will. Um, just tons of guardians and tons of guardians and tons of guardians. How much time we got left? We got ten minutes... 11 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Good three minutes left. I'm kidding. Um, I'm, yes, I'm really narrating a good 14 minute video just to explain all this, if you were wondering. And is there still more to go? We're not even half done yet, bro. So, this is the biggest enemy in the game, which is an Atlas, which it will probably murder you if you don't pay attention i missed my first shot there if you saw that but a missile a cobra missile which is up on the d-pad will kill them instantly and anything around them so you only get two of those two of everything on the d-pad so i recommend saving it and this right here i didn't exactly introduce when i was doing the upload thing that would be a combat engineer which they set up the turrets right there, and the turrets are just crazy. They will get your shield down within like a good three seconds, not even. And if you kill the combat engineer while he's setting it up, uh, it does explode. But once he sets it up, it's its own enemy and doesn't count towards the waves or anything. But yeah, they just screw up your health and your shields and everything, and it's just it's crazy. I did kill it though, because I'm that amazing. So wave ten, the I I got lucky actually. This is these are all three of the side quest things you can do. There was the terminals, then there's the upload, then there's targets. They'll mark targets for you to kill, and on wave ten, the first target is always an atlas. Yeah. Um, normally the target things come f like wave 3 or wave 6, but if they do happen to come on wave 10, it will be an atlas first, possibly followed by a phantom or anything of that. That guy actually got down by a phantom. I don't think it says that. I can't read it from here. But yeah, this is a phantom. And um, what they will do is they shoot you from anywhere they want with this magical thing on their arm. Just like a sniper rifle, apparently. And if they, like, melee you, it is insta-kill. Like that. He died, see? They, like, assassinate you. Like, they would on reach or something. And if you get their barriers and your, their shields down, they go invisible. They are just the worst type of enemy. Not preferably on uh, bronze difficulty, but anything higher than that crazy i got taken down by it and that is about it because after this the last guy tried to save me there and he couldn't because he got killed by the phantom too so you can blame the rest of this video on him because he got stomped on he didn't use any meta gel or anything mission failed wave 10 this seems to always be wave 10 so i got second place there not anywhere close to leveling up um, after every match, like the bonus things, you get credits and you can buy these packs. Let's see what I got. Probably nothing. Yep, nothing good. Nothing good at all. Alright, well that's all I got for you. And I guess we will see you later with other Delta stuff. And I hope you all have fun playing the Mass Effect 3 beta. Or demo. Frame it out.